Have you ever felt these symptoms? Sadness after completing a game. The feeling of not wanting to do anything and be productive. Laying in your bed thinking about the game that you finished for a long time. Lingering thoughts of that game when you're doing something else. You may be diagnosed with post-game depression. This nutsin is proven in clinical studies to help with these symptoms. Side effects may include severe headache, nausea, depression, exploding of the organs, projectile vomiting, even more depression, excessive bleeding from the inside, bleeding from the eyes and ears, diabetes type 3, highest blood pressure conceivable, heart attacks, implosion, loss of vision, explosive diarrhea, shortening of lifespan by about 50 years, cramps in the worst spot of your foot. Have you ever completed a good ass game, read a banger book, watched an amazing movie or consumed a heart-wrenching anime and were left completely hollow or melancholic? Cause I do. This happens to all forms of media as well. Book readers call this book hangovers. Movie watchers call it post-movie depression. And with anime, we just call it the normal day in the office. Coin to coin this term post-media depression since it doesn't specifically target one form of media, it affects all. And I just literally made it up on the spot. It's not even a real word. In gamer terms, we call this post-game blues or post-game letdown or whatever the f*** you want to call it. It's a feeling of sadness or emptiness that some people experience after completing a banger of a video game. I'm, the, I'm not much of a book reader or a movie watcher, so yeah. I think I... Uh, the movies I watched, I think, um... Rush Hour? Rush Hour 2? Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> But since I'm more of a gamer and a weeb, I'm gonna explain this phenomenon through that. So whenever I say gamer, just try imagine and replace gamer with, um, I, I guess, bibliophile or cinemaphile? <laughs> okay. It's just a big time sink, you know, like my zoomer mind can't really just sit down and commit time for it when I can just go on YouTube and be like, oh yeah, um, see this, uh, oh, dash games, okay, that's pretty good. Um, Northern Lion, okay, that's a classic for sure. Um, oh, Trash Taste Podcast, baby. One of the main causes of post-media depression is the loss of purpose or accomplishment. For example, when playing a video game, players are often working towards a specific goal, such as defeating a boss, aka Ganon, solving a stupid puzzle, or completing a quest. Nice. This gives the player a sense of direction and a reason to continue playing. However, once the game is completed, the, the player is left without this sense of purpose. This can lead to feelings of emptiness and a lack of motivation. Hell, I, I stopped playing Hollow Knight because I didn't want to drink to end. I was having so much fun with it. I just, yeah, I, I, I need to go back to it. Anime relies solely on its characters and story to really suck you in its world. For example, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Hey man, uh... All of these things have one thing in common that contributes to this phenomenon and it's called having good characters. Cause you're not gonna get sad over something like, I don't know, like Gran Turismo? Holy moly. Characters are a crucial aspect of any story as they serve as the driving force behind the plot and the emotional connect to the audience. A well-written character can truly draw a reader or viewer in, making them feel as if they're part of the story themselves. This emotional investment in the characters can lead to a satisfying, fulfilling experience while consuming the story. The characters that we f***ing love and bonded with is now instantly gone. The show's over. I remember watching Angel Beats when I was 12. I was at my cousin's house thinking it was going to be a comedy anime. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Crenexia. As I got deeper into the show, I had a pain achingly weird feeling that this was not gonna go well, son. And uh, yeah, and, and I cried a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Why does this happen? Why, why do we feel so damn sad to leave then? <laughs> For many people, these forms of media serve as a form of escapism, allowing them to temporarily step away from the stresses and responsibilities of real life and completely experience a world entirely different of their own. The immersive world and engaging story of a good form of media can, can create a sense of detachment from reality and returning to reality can be difficult because let's face it, a regular human being cannot literally stomach everyday mundane boring life without some form of entertainment. It's just not possible unless you're Mark Zuckerberg.
It's like saying goodbye to a close friend that's been with you through all the tough and bad. You have spent some time with them, knowing their struggles, dreams, hopes, ambitions, and you watched them achieve their dream. It was like a journey and you've seen them through their lows, their highs, and to just suddenly say, Sayonara watashi no yujin. I hope that's right. Sayonara watashi no yujin. And speaking of overused quotes and over cheesiness, what was that line from Dr. Seuss again? Don't smile because it's over. Cry because it happened. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. <laughs> Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Dr. Seuss. Because if nothing ever ended, everything would be like The Simpsons. <laughs> Actually, how long have The Simpsons been running for? 34 seasons. Wow. It's longer than One Piece and it's not even remotely as good. And you know what? I'm gonna get that prescription with this nuts in. God, what's it this time now? Hello? Hello, I would like to get a prescription of this nuts in. Oh, this nuts in, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, we got some plenty in the counter. Uh, would you like to prescribe some these nuts in your mouth? Woohoo! Wrong, we got another one! That's the second one today! <sighs> yeah. Oh, you're still on the line. Uh, uh, so do you have any in stock or? Uh, yeah, there's, there's no prescription. Just, just get over, man. This is fucking fake. All right, bye. Fucking stupid. One. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. Oh. My God. Hey there, Kiwi. What's going on with you? That adorable.